Hi guys. Notion is a versatile software program that is quickly gaining popularity due to its flexibility and ability to offer a combination of both project management and note-taking tools. While this all-in-one tool provides collaboration and team management solutions, other options are out on the market today that might be more suitable to your business needs. Whether you're looking for a tool specifically designed for taking notes, or if you need a more robust project management software, we've got you covered. There are some excellent Notion alternatives on the market. To help you find one, we've listed some of the best Notion alternatives. Watch on to learn more about these providers and find out which one will work best for your needs. So let's get started. The first one on the list is ClickUp. If you're looking for a project management tool that provides a little bit of everything, ClickUp is an excellent option to consider. A favorite note-taking and project management tool combined, ClickUp has jumped in popularity as a go-to all-in-one tool today. ClickUp allows users to store and edit documents in real time, keep track of tasks and projects via a color-coded system, and has a native notepad feature. The notepad feature trumps Notion's notepad, which can add checklists, simple code snippets, and offers notepad printing functionality. Some of the ClickUp features include its note-taking functionality allows users to print notes, customizable interface, perfect for businesses of any size, drag and drop functionality with an intuitive and straightforward interface, native time tracking and powerful integrations, offers both free and paid plans. However, there are some cons to using ClickUp. A steep learning curve due to the number of available features and level of customizability, glitchy app on Android, and lacks a project message board. And for the pricing, ClickUp's free plan allows unlimited users and tasks, but limits the storage to 100 megabytes. To access more advanced features and storage space, consider one of its premium plans. They are available from $5 per user per month. ClickUp is best for team collaboration through built-in tools. Quick note, my work is supported by affiliate commissions. So if this video is helpful, you can find links to the websites I mentioned in the video description. If you click those links, I may earn a commission, and that helps a lot, so thank you. Okay, next let's talk about Monday.com. Monday.com is best for a turnkey solution you can start using right away. Monday.com calls itself a work OS, meaning it wants to be a one-stop software for your whole team. In other words, like Notion, Monday.com aims to replace multiple other software products. That does make both software solutions relatively complicated to set up. Unlike Notion, though, Monday.com offers pre-built solutions so you can start using your new software right away. While you can choose to simply build your Monday.com work OS from scratch, you can also opt to buy a pre-built product. Monday offers work management, sales CRM, market, project, and dev, all ready for you to start using and simply add your data to. These products make Monday.com much less overwhelming than Notion. You have to set Notion up from scratch, while Monday lets you skip the grunt work. Monday.com can save you time. Monday.com also offers built-in automation to help streamline your workflow. You can automate simple recurring tasks, like alerting stakeholders to changes in a product, or updating a project status. These little changes can save lots of time and Monday.com makes it easy to start automating. The Notion app doesn't have native automation. You can add automation through software integrations like Zapier or Make. That adds extra steps to your automation process though, which makes Notion harder to automate than Monday.com. Monday.com's free version accommodates two users, while its basic and standard plans are priced at $8 and $10 per user per month, respectively, billed annually. There is also a free trial that allows you to try Monday.com risk-free. Next, we have Coda, the best for budget plans. The Coda platform is built around docs, but you can use its powerful doc builder as a project management software, a knowledge-based tool, or a document editor, just like Notion, in fact. The biggest difference between Coda and Notion comes down to pricing. Coda offers multiple ways to keep your subscription affordable. Coda offers a totally free plan for as many users as you want. Sure, the free plan doesn't give you a version history, custom branding and other nice features. Still, it's a workable plan for teams on a budget. In comparison, Notion's free plan limits you to one person with up to 10 guests. Most teams will have to use a paid plan to get anything out of Notion. 
Even with paid plans, Coda only makes you pay for creators. Editors and viewers don't cost you anything. In many teams, that means you can just pay for your project managers, which makes Coda very affordable. Next, we have Obsidian. For the coders and developers out there, Obsidian is a plain text markdown editor with minimal formatting that lets users customize text styling, shortcuts, and window arrangements. All files are stored locally and not on a cloud server, and this equals fewer security risks since there's no third party holding onto your notes. Although it's the responsibility of the user to keep files safe and secure, there are paid models that offer end-to-end -end encrypted backups available. This also means that Obsidian always works offline, which can increase the speed of performance. You can use plugins and custom CSS to create a workspace that's efficient and really works for what you need. With that said, Obsidian is a tool aimed at users who want to use all these features and don't mind the extra setup. Some of the Obsidian features include backlinks to create an interconnected network of notes, strong community support, desktop and mobile apps available, free to use for individuals with paid upgrades and add-ons available. Next, Confluence. Confluence is a wiki software platform designed for knowledge management. It's one of the oldest wiki solutions, having launched in 2004, but still remains strong today. Atlassian owes Confluence, the parent company of other project management and productivity tools like Jira and Trello. This makes Confluence the top choice for companies that already use these tools. Confluence uses spaces, which are essentially workspaces for teams. Each space can house its own knowledge base, documents, project trackers, and more. As of right now, Confluence has four price tiers, free, standard, premium, and enterprise. Overall, Confluence is very difficult to use across the whole organization because of its clunky UI and navigation. Also, it has a few drawbacks in knowledge creation, especially around edit and update tracking. Confluence also has much cheaper plans than Notion does. It offers a free plan for small teams, along with a robust paid plan, under $6 per user per month. Even its premium plan costs less than $11 per user per month, making Confluence a pretty affordable option. So, as you can see, Notion isn't the only great app out there. There are plenty of others, even beyond what we've listed here today. Some have features similar to Notion's, others have a completely different set of features and functions. As I said earlier, my work is supported by affiliate commissions, so if this video was helpful, you can check the links in the description. Again, that helps a lot. Thank you. The point of this video isn't to force you into using something other than Notion. It's to consider the other options out there. For some companies, sticking with what's familiar might be worth it. But for others, switching to a new alternative with tools that better suit their needs and goals can help them build their business presence faster. Whichever tool you choose, we'd recommend trying the free version first, risk-free, and if you like it more, you can upgrade. Other than that, it's up to you. So yeah, that's it for this video, and hopefully this video will help you out. If it did, please leave a comment and click the like button. That helps too, and goodbye for now.